In many movies, we see chemicals that make superheroes melt away skin and bone and become a backbone in a war effort. In reality, mostly chemicals just cause death. Many times, the most dangerous chemicals are simply too dangerous for war at all. After all, you want to at least keep your own soldiers safe. And some things are so dangerous that even that is too difficult. These are the world's most dangerous chemicals. Ethylene glycol is a clear, sweet, slightly viscous liquid that boils at 198 degrees Celsius. It is most frequently used as antifreeze for cars to prevent freezing. There's a good chance that you have a bottle of it laying around in your garage. But it's one of the most dangerous chemicals in the world. When ingested, the same enzyme that breaks down alcohol, like beer and wine, converts it into glycoaldehyde, then into glycolic acid. This acid kills cells and disturbs the body's sensitive pH balance. The principal organ systems affected by antifreeze are the kidneys and central nervous system. What makes it more dangerous is that ethylene glycol has a remarkably pleasant smell and flavor, making it easy for kids, dogs, and even unknowing adults to accidentally drink it and experience a painful death. So, you better watch out. One of the most lethal non-peptide-based poisons known to man is called the trichotoxin. The poison dart frogs are a common source of this chemical. The popular name of the species comes from the indigenous Embera people of Colombia, who have been using its potent venom to tip blowgun darts when hunting. It is a very powerful steroidal alkaloid that is harmful to the heart and brain. What makes it even more dangerous is that no antidote has been created as of today. Why do these frogs make such toxic chemicals? There may be some proof that the melarid beetles are part of the frog's diet for them to emit the toxin. Thioacetone is an unstable orange or brown compound that is only isolable at very low temperatures. Thioacetone is not known for being poisonous or toxic, so it is a surprising addition to our list. It is neither explosive, corrosive, or even volatile. However, its unique, horrible smell elevates it to the list of the most dangerous chemicals. While working on a related compound in the German town of Freiburg in 1889, a group of researchers managed to unintentionally create some thioacetone. Upon its creation, a terrible odor emerged from the laboratory. The village was evacuated after the stench, which could be smelled from half a kilometer away. Because of how bad it is, it caused individuals to start throwing up violently. According to people who have smelled the chemical's terrible smell, bioacetone won't literally kill you, but it will probably make you wish you had already died. Mustard gas is a colorless, odorless liquid at room temperature that was first employed during World War I and causes severe blisters in any flesh it comes in contact with, although it has no connection to the condiment mustard in any form. The name mustard gas came from its mustard color and smell during its impure state. And many soldiers wish it had stayed that way because when deployed as an aerosol, Within 4 to 24 hours of contact, even a small amount of exposure causes deep, excruciating blisters. If it enters the eyes, they will swell shut and you may become blind. The respiratory system bleeds internally when massive amounts are inhaled, and more than 50% of the body's skin exposure usually results in death. Sulfur mustard is not found naturally in the environment. However, because of how dangerous this chemical is, the process by which it was manufactured was never made available to the public to ensure that it wouldn't be used in the present world. Nerve gas, also known as VX, is the deadliest chemical warfare agent. 
One drop of nerve gas can kill a person in under a minute. Nerve gas is a flavorless and colorless chemical with the consistency of premium motor oil. Once deployed, it can easily circulate through the air. It targets the neurological system of the body, resulting in very immediate spasms, seizures, and stopping involuntary muscular movements like the heart. The chemical compound for nerve gas was discovered when the Germans developed it during World War II. Hydrogen cyanide is a well-known chemical frequently used in movies. Hydrogen cyanide is called Zyklon B, which the Nazis deployed in the extermination camps in early 1942 to murder prisoners during the Holocaust. It has a mild, almond-like smell and is either colorless or pale blue. It is easily released into the air and quickly absorbed when it comes into touch with the skin or is inhaled. It causes the body's capacity to absorb oxygen to reduce at the cellular level. Death happens quickly. Hydrogen cyanide is also potentially explosive and flammable. If discharged into the ocean, it would bubble to the surface since it is lighter than air. Another dangerous cyanide is potassium cyanide and can kill within minutes. It has previously been used as a suicide pill by certain people such as Joseph Goebbels, Henrik Himmler, Alan Turing, Hitler's long-term companion Eva Braun, and many others. This clear crystalline salt resembles sugar and is very soluble in water. In several movies, these lethal substances are utilized to poison or murder a target by dissolving this powder in their drink as sugar. After drinking, targets will then have a seizure with bubbles in their mouth and die. Unfortunately, if someone consumes potassium cyanide in real life, this is about what they can expect. Potassium cyanide still exists today, but you won't find it easily. It is only allowed to be used by authorized organizations for commercial use in fumigation, electroplating, and extracting gold and silver from ores. Many chemists believe that dimethyl cadmium is the most dangerous chemical that has ever existed. The organic compound is more volatile because cadmium is lighter than mercury. It immediately absorbs into the bloodstream and destroys the organs that require the most blood, such as the heart and lungs. Even if someone manages to survive the initial exposure, there is still a very real risk. Dimethyl cadmium is an extremely potent cancer-causing substance. Even worse, it decomposes into the very explosive dimethyl calcium peroxide so you can survive having your heart stopped and having cancer before exploding, possibly. And there you have it. This concludes our list of the most dangerous chemicals. The good news is that these dangerous chemicals can be avoided, but it's crucial to keep in mind that chemistry is far from being a perfect field. However, with how the world is evolving and many are more aware of saving the earth, the majority of chemicals that will be considered harmful will also go through several procedures and a proper set of expectations. Feel free to share your thoughts on the most dangerous chemicals. And if we missed anything, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Take care!